Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a, another top five video. I recently uploaded my top five favorite drugstore foundations and today we're gonna be talking about my top five favorite high-end foundations. Just a little background information, if you are new to my channel, I do have oily to combination skin. In the winter months, I tend to get a little bit of dryness around my nose and sometimes in my chin area, which is super random, but anyways. So yeah, so just a little backstory on my skin so you guys can kind of get a feel for why I really am choosing these foundations. One of these foundations is through, I would say I've had it for three or four months and the rest I've had for over a year and have repurchased and completely, completely vouch for these guys. They're really great quality and they just look super good on the skin. So the first one that I want to talk about, I have reviewed here on my channel. I will link all my reviews down below if, about products that I talk about today so it's super easy for you to find. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. It's a two-in-one and I personally still wear concealer when I put this on my skin, but if you don't need that like full coverage look and you're just going for something quick for every day and you're going to set with a powder, then you can definitely pull this off with just foundation, no concealer. It is really full coverage. It lasts a really long time on the skin. I would say it lasts eight to 10 hours and it doesn't break up either. It doesn't cling to dry patches. It's amazing. Anyways, I have the shade... 6.5 buttermilk and I really like this shade. I really really do enjoy this foundation. It lasts a long time and it's just it's a really good everyday foundation. Another really good everyday foundation is the foundation I'm wearing on my skin right now so you can get a really good idea of how it sits on the skin. And this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I love this foundation. I loved it since the original was released and then I purchased this one here. If there is one foundation that you should have in your collection from high end, it's definitely this one. No matter what type of skin you have, whether you're dry or oily, this is gonna work for you because it's one of those medium mixed foundations that doesn't cling to dry patches, but doesn't get super oily during the day as well. I do like to use a mattifying primer when I use this just because I get really oily in my T-zone, but honestly, it lasts a great amount of time. I have the shade Y255. But I think I've also worn Y245 and both work really, really well. Like as you can see, it's a great color match for me. And if you are curious, I am a MAC NC30. This foundation, it is a bestseller, which is, it's true. Everyone knows, everyone owns this foundation. It's amazing. It does have a very extensive shade range, which is always good. I know it's a little intimidating. You're like, whoa, that's a lot of shades. Like, where am I? But if you're confused, go in store because if you're shopping online, it can be very overwhelming. Pictures are deceiving. You never really know. I always recommend if you're buying foundation for the first time to go in store and that will relieve so much stress for you when picking out foundation shades and it'll also help you navigate. Another trick I have is to bring a foundation that you have with you, like at home, bring it with you to the store, drugstore as well, because drugstore is super difficult because you can't, not always testers and whatnot, and line them up next to each other to see like, oh, okay, this one's closer to this color. That will also help you pick your shade. A little rant. Moving more and more towards my full coverage foundation. So this one kind of sits right in the middle. This one here is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I've heard so, so many great things about this foundation. I got it the second it was released. I was so excited for it. From the packaging to the hype that was given from bloggers, I knew I needed this foundation. I have the shade, I have the shade Warm Beige. I have heard a few people say that this foundation has caused them to break out. Personally, I don't have sensitive skin, but this foundation has never made me break out or anything like that. One thing about this foundation is that I more so recommend this foundation for people with dry skin. So it is an oil-free foundation, but it does leave you with a very natural, glowy type finish, if you know what I mean. So if you are oily, you will break through faster. So the reason why this is in my top five is because the coverage is amazing. And personally, even though I am oily, I do like a dewy finish um, from time to time. And I also love mixing this foundation with other foundations. It 
really mixes well. It can help a not so good foundation go all the way to really, really good. So this is definitely a great foundation. If you have dry skin, I highly recommend picking this one up as well. But if you are oily like me and you do like a little bit of a dewy coverage, or you like mixing your foundations, this one's really amazing for that. Moving on to my full coverage rider dyes. They have my back. They last literally 24 hours. Let's jump in. So the first one, and mine is so dirty, I apologize. It doesn't have a pump. I don't know why, but it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is such a good foundation. So I am in the shade 3W1 Tawny. This is just a full coverage foundation. You only need one layer. It's going to last all night. It's very matte on the skin and it's not going to budge. So yeah, I definitely have to apply this with a beauty blender or else I feel like it looks a little bit caked up, but it really does last a long time, like 12 plus hours. And I know that they also have a pretty decent shade range. Honestly, I've had mine for over over a year I think just or just at a year mark and I still have a lot left so it's definitely worth the money if you are looking to invest in a really good foundation I highly recommend trying this one out especially if you have oily skin you will love the coverage and the longevity that it gives you last but certainly 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 not least is a newer foundation it's probably the newest one out of all of these ones and it is the urban decay all-nighter waterproof long it, it has the longest name this is the urban decay all-nighter foundation i adore it as you can see i've already made a dent and i've only had it like four months i would say uh, four months and i have the shade 4.0 so the second that this was launched i knew i wanted it i knew right away i needed this foundation but there was some shade matching problems so when it was first launched a lot of people were talking about how it oxidized a lot like a lot a lot so that made me scared to figure out what shade I was. So I didn't purchase it online when it was first released. I waited, waited, waited. I went to Ulta and I decided to pick it up. I really took my time. I swatched so many of these foundations because I was nervous. I was really confused on whether it was going to oxidize like two shades darker. So I swatched a few of them, walked around the store for a, a while and then went back and picked the shade so I ended up going with shade 4.0 and in my review I talk a lot about their shade numbering because they have 0 .0, 0 0.5 and with this new foundation they added 0.25 so basically it's all about undertones you have the cool tone pink undertone I believe is 0.5 the neutral is 0.25 and then the warm toned more olive yellow is 0.0 so that definitely helps you out to kind of decipher what shade you would kind of be in. And then I knew I was going to be either 3.0 or 4.0. The foundation is waterproof long wear liquid foundation. And it is full coverage with a matte finish. And it is a no joke matte finish. It will totally mattify you. So if you do have dry skin, you may not like it because it will cling to those dry spots. But if you have oily skin, this will be your best friend. If you're going out for a long period of time, you need to wear makeup from morning all the way to night. You're going to work all day at the office. You have an event afterwards, whatever the case, you're going to a wedding. I don't know, whatever. This foundation is not going to play you. It is going to stay on your skin and it's going to look amazing. Those were my top five high end foundations. If you guys do have any questions on color matching or the finishes of different foundations, definitely drop me a comment down below. I'm more than happy to chat with you guys about foundations. I know they can be really tricky, but once you find the one, you will be so happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.